you mentioned Worthington Minor, whom I guess everybody calls Tony. Yeah. Uh, and Fred Coe. Were they the two producers who ruled the roost back then? Pretty much, pretty much. That uh, they were the top, you know, that uh, they could veto. They could uh, accept or reject a script, for example, and rewrites. And it's a tough job. Uh, Tony did a lot of rewriting himself, but uh, Fred would just talk with writers about a script before we even saw it, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we'd read through it and at a natural pace, and we'd say, well, we're way under, we're 10 minutes under, you know, write some more dialogue or you know, do some more scenes, or if you're over, cut so that you wouldn't have that pressure mm -hmm. uh, after dress rehearsal to say, now what are you going to cut because you're over, or making air cuts. They got, they got to handle it pretty well as time went on. Did uh, Tony Minor and Fred Coe go from show to show, or did they, were they anchored at, at specific series for long no, no, periods no, they, of time? They were, at the they were at the networks, Fred Coe at NBC and Tony at, uh, and there was, there was one at ABC and I don't remember because they didn't do many shows at ABC in those days. We did the Actors Studio, we did a couple of other shows, but the two most uh, programmed uh, were NBC and uh, CBS. Tony uh, really re reined in the directors uh, quite sharply, and uh, he f was from the theater and he had a keen uh, eye for theater and for script. And uh, Fred was very good working with writers, as you've been told by the people he worked with, and very sympathetic and encouraging. And uh, I don't know if J.P. Miller told you, but uh, he was selling air conditioners up and down Sixth Avenue to bars and shops and so forth. I didn't and interview Mr. Miller, so I'd love to hear what the, the story oh. is. Well, he, he, he's a very dear friend of mine now over the, over the years. And uh, he said, if this isn't sold, I want to forget writing and stick to air conditioning sales. And he sold a script to Fred Coe. And uh, that launched his career because once you're on the air and you have a, your worth is proven, uh, it's easier for you to sell scripts, of course.